Good morning. I'm Cynthia Barnhart, and as Chancellor of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, it is my privilege to welcome you to the annual ceremony for the investiture of doctoral hoods. It is wonderful to be joined today by our guest speaker, Dr. Lisa Su, who we will hear from in a moment. And just as we welcome Dr. Su home to MIT, we are greeting and celebrating with many other returning alumni. Specifically, as you can see from the banners behind us, the 50-year class, the 25-year class, and others who are in Cambridge for reunions this weekend. To our doctoral candidates, congratulations. As doctors of philosophy and doctors of science, you are now full-fledged lifetime members of the Academy, and you are now the colleagues of the faculty gathered here to witness this final step in your journey from student to the Academy. Earning a doctoral degree from MIT is no small feat. It is a test that requires us to combine the strengths of our minds, hands, and hearts so that we can solve society's grandest challenges and expand the frontiers of knowledge. It demands endless curiosity and creativity, passion, and perseverance. Undoubtedly, along the path you traveled to arrive here today, you pursued lines of inquiry that didn't pan out. But rather than give up, you pushed forward. And through that process, you experienced the exhilaration of discovery and innovation and learned invaluable lessons about your resolve and character. You have every reason to be proud, to be relieved, and to be filled with hope for what your future holds. Wherever you go from here, I know that the same community of family, friends, and mentors will continue to lift you up. They are the ones who offered their unwavering support as you came from near and far to contribute to life at MIT. They saw you through your research, your dissertation, and your defense. They served as your sounding boards and your cheerleaders. They treated you gently when the work was not going great, and they shared your elation when at last it did. Today, every individual who has helped you pursue your dreams are part of the MIT extended and global family. They get to share in your exceptional achievement. Graduates, please, please rise and join me and recognizing your community of loved ones and mentors, whether they are with us in Cambridge today or not, with a resounding thank you. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker. Dr. Lisa Su's own journey has taken her from Taiwan to New York City and from MIT to the highest leadership positions in major semiconductor companies. As an undergraduate studying electrical engineering here, Dr. Su developed a passion for semiconductors and began to see their potential to change the world. Her doctoral research was focused on silicon on insular technology, and in the years since she sat where you are sitting today, she has transformed a broad range of technologies that fuel 20th, 21st century life, from semiconductor devices and computing architectures to embedded systems and cloud computing. 
through a variety of positions at Texas Instruments, IBM, and Freescale Semiconductor Inc., Dr. Sue has led engineering, business, research, and development, and global strategy operations. Today, she is the president and chief executive officer of Advanced Micro Devices and is widely credited with sharpening AMD's focus and restoring its market performance. As we look today at life beyond MIT, we are thrilled that she is here to offer her perspective and advice. Dr. Sue. Good morning. Thank you for the opportunity to be here today. It's really such an honor for me to be back at MIT and to really participate in today's hooding ceremony. And I have to say a big hearty congratulations to all of you who are graduating this week. I know just how hard you've worked for this achievement and it's an honor to be here to recognize you today. And also to all of the friends and family who have supported our graduates um, this, this week, congratulations to you as well. Everyone here should feel extremely proud of this amazing accomplishment. Now, I heard a very insightful comment once that really stuck with me, and it was really that the two most important things that determines a person's success in life is really the love of their family and their education. And I certainly believe that. As I think back to my days at MIT, I am incredibly grateful for the experiences that I had here and the things that I learned. And if you will indulge me for a few minutes, let me tell you a little bit about my story. So I was born in Taiwan, and I came to the United States when I was two, and I grew up in New York uh, to immigrant parents. I was very lucky to have parents that supported me as I grew up, and really treating my brother and I as equals, and setting extremely high standards for what success meant. Throughout grade school and middle school, I was an okay student, but I certainly wasn't anywhere near best in my class. I did realize, though, that competi competition made me better. So in high school, I went to the Bronx High School of Science, and I met some very smart people, and some of them were, were pretty competitive, and that pushed me harder and shaped my interests in math and science. Then I was lucky enough to get into MIT as an undergrad and I truly understood what smart was. I think you guys understand that too, huh? Um, freshman year at MIT was actually very eye-opening, and I would say it was pretty intimidating taking some of those freshman weed-out classes that we know exist um, at the Institute. However, it was during my freshman year at MIT that I got my first undergraduate research assignment, and it was in a semiconductor lab. And I had the opportunity for the first time to do something that I thought was amazing. I fell in love with semiconductors because it was the ability to build something really small and really complicated, and I could do it myself. And it was during this time that I realized that I didn't need to be the smartest person in the classroom, but if I really applied myself to solve practical problems, I could make a big difference. And so, as I was graduating from the 6A program at MIT, my parents encouraged me to get a PhD. I actually really wasn't sure that this is what I wanted to do, but I was really too young, you know, at the time to know any better. So I said, <laughs> some of you might relate to that, but <laughs> I said, okay, you know, I'll do it. Um, but I was really torn with the prospect of spending another four to five years of my life in school. Now, I can honestly say that M the MIT PhD has truly shaped who I am in so many ways, both personally and professionally. And so, when people ask me, what has MIT meant to me? I usually say a couple of things. I say MIT is pure, and it's really hard. Um, I do believe that MIT practices the motto, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> Hope you guys agree with that. But what I really say, though, is that MIT taught me how to think and solve really tough problems. Because today, 
For all of you who are completing your doctoral dissertations, you have created something or discovered something or demonstrated something that nobody else in the world has. And that should give you an incredible amount of confidence about what you're able to do when you put your mind to it. And through that, you've really proven that you're at the top of your field. And so you should feel extremely proud of that accomplishment. So my path since leaving MIT has had a few twists and turns. And I find myself often coming back to the principles that I learned here. So as each of you sit here today about to embark on your own journey, I have maybe just a couple of small pieces of advice that I would like to share with you. The first, and I'll say this, is you should really dream big. Believe that you can change the world. I remember when I first left MIT, I was really intimidated about joining a large corporate environment. I was 25 years old, and I joined IBM's TJ Watson Research Center, which had an incredible reputation. And I met people who had a lot more experience and knowledge than I had. And I had no idea how could I contribute in that environment and make a difference. However, what I learned is that MIT has really prepared you for that journey. MIT trains the best problem solvers in the world, and the world is starving for new ideas and great leaders who will champion those ideas. So I was able to make a difference even after a few short months, and each of you will make an incredible difference as well. You are the next generation of great leaders with fresh, innovative ideas, and you will solve the world's toughest problems. You just have to believe in yourself and give yourself the permission to believe that you can change the world. Second, I would say have the courage to take risks, sometimes big risks, but make sure you also enthusiastically learn from your mistakes, and there will be a few mistakes. Um, I started off as an engineer and then turned to the business and management side of things in my career. And I saw, actually, in many business environments that MIT PhDs worked for Harvard MBAs. <laughs> and, and the truth is, that made absolutely no sense to me. I was determined to make sure that I wasn't working for Harvard MBAs for the rest of my career. <laughs> but um, truthfully, I actually thought I could make better business decisions because I understood the technology, whereas sometimes generalists don't. So I took a risk, and I asked my management at MIT, uh, IBM to give me a chance to run a business. And so they did actually give me a shot, surprisingly. I made a lot of mistakes those first few years, and I learned that the moments that really shaped my career were the times when I really screwed up the most. It's like in the lab, you know, when that experiment you thought was supposed to work out didn't quite work out. You know, what do you do? You need to learn and adjust your next steps. It's certainly like that in your career as well. And sometimes you even make some very large mistakes. Like, for example, the first business I ran, I missed my revenue the first year by 50%. My boss wasn't very happy about that. Um, I spent about 24 hours being extremely disappointed in myself. But the day after, I promised myself I would learn from it. And I adjusted my game plan for the rest of the year. And you can believe I never made that particular mistake again. And so, I really do say, don't be afraid to take risks, even if some of them seem large. And don't be afraid to make a few mistakes. Mistakes are natural. There is no straight line to success. But the people who learn best from their mistakes are actually the ones who end up being the best leaders. And the last thing I want to leave you with is perhaps most important. I encourage each of you to make your own luck. MIT has given you all the tools and training to the be best in the world and make a huge impact on your chosen field. However, in addition to being smart, you also have to be lucky. And you have to be in the right place at the right time, solving the right problems. 
So my favorite advice to graduates is find the toughest problems in the world and volunteer to help solve them. Because this is really how you make your own luck. This is when people really pay attention. And this is when you're really doing something that makes a difference. I've had the opportunity several times in my career to work on some very hard problems. Sometimes I found it extremely frustrating and stressful. But each time I found that working on something hard brought out the best in me and also my team. And it also created a new set of opportunities. So five years ago, I had the opportunity to join AMD. Now, when I joined AMD, there were a few of my mentors who actually questioned my decision because they knew about the challenges of the company. And I actually looked at them really perplexed. I actually felt like I could not possibly have a better opportunity because I had trained my entire career since my days at MIT through my 20 years in industry to lead a semiconductor company. And so this was my opportunity to make my own luck. The world is full of very complex and challenging problems, and I truly believe that what MIT has taught us is that there is no problem that is too hard to solve if you have the right mindset, the right perseverance, and the right cre creativity. So I advise you to run towards those problems, and you will have great luck throughout your career. So today is a tremendous day for all of you. Um, it really is a celebration of your MIT experience, but it's also a celebration of the beginning of the next chapter in your career, where you start to leverage all of the tools and training you've received here to go off and solve the world's hardest problems and make the world a better place. So I encourage each of you to dream big and believe you can change the world, have the courage to take risks and enthusiastically learn from those mistakes, and work damn hard every day to solve the world's toughest problems. And I think if you do that, I'm pretty sure you're going to make everybody very proud, and you will be incredibly lucky throughout your career. So I do have one last personal request for all of you. You know, I told you at the beginning that I'm slightly competitive, just slightly. So please promise me that you will join me on my journey to make sure that there are lots of Harvard MBAs working for MIT PhDs in the future. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Good morning. Each degree candidate will be invested with a hood by the chancellor and a faculty member from the department. The academic hood is a symbol of dedication to scholarship and attainment of the requirements defined by the academy. We are proud to introduce 485 of MIT's newest scholars, those who have earned the right to wear this symbol and to join the ranks of our colleagues worldwide. We will now invest the candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Science and Doctor of Philosophy with their hoods in the School of Architecture and Planning, representing the Department of Architecture, assisting Chancellor Cynthia Barnhart is Professor Caroline Jones, Associate Department Head. Doctor of Philosophy, Usli Arpak. Carol R. Bentel. Carlos Cerezo Davila. Catherine E. DeWolf. Nathaniel L. Jones. Sebastian Schmidt. Rochelle B. Villalon. Woo! 
Representing the Department of Urban Studies and Planning, Professor Aaron B. Ben-Joseph, Department Head. Doctor of Philosophy, Lily B. Pollins. <laughs> Lindsay A. Rollheiser. Eric W. Schulteis. Linda Shai. <laughs> Carrie A. Spitzer. Anthony P. Vanke. Lien Shu, <laughs> representing the program in Media Arts and Sciences, Professor Mitchell Resnick, Associate Academic Head, <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy, Brian D. Allen, <laughs> Jacob G. Bernstein. Nicholas B. De Palma, <laughs> Karthik Dinakar, <laughs> Jinju Lee, <laughs> Jorge N. Matias. Nikhil Naik. Nadia M. Peak. J. Chi. Travis R. S. Rich. Ricaros V. Roque. Xiao Xiao. In the School of Engineering, representing the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Associate Professor Jesse Kroll. Doctor of Philosophy. Jessica A. Bryant, <laughs> Chun Tae Chen, <laughs> Lin San Chong, Noriko Ko Endo, Xiao Jing Fu, Bruno M. Gonsalves da Silva. Kagan M. McCall. Jandos Y. Orazelin. Kai Pan. Allison R. Parada. Anson F. Stewart. Omar A. Sway. Anna Tarakanova. Cecilia A. Vigiano. David P. Whittleston. <laughs> Sun Q. Yoon.
Representing the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Professor Gong Chen, Department Head. Doctor of Science. Heather S. Hussein. Doctor of Philosophy, Kevin R. Bagnall. Achilles Bakshi. Leonardo D. Banchik. Richard B. Bates. Sampriti Bhattacharya. Michael S. Boutelier. Kareem Shayib. Han J. J. Cho. Sunandini Chopra. Elena de Puchkiche, <laughs> Georgios T. Dimitrakopoulos, <laughs> Sachit A. Dunatunga, <laughs> Michael F. Eilenberg. Alexander Girard. <laughs> Anders K. Hegman. <laughs> Jacob S. Israelovitz. <laughs> Benjamin M. Jenkins. Han Kyu Yiju, Stephen J. Keating, <laughs> Mohammed Khalid Jawed, <laughs> Jocelyn M. Kluger. Yoon Kyung Lee. <laughs> Young Liu. <laughs> Mikael N. Mayalu. <laughs> Leah R. Mendelssohn. Jonathan M. Mendoza. <laughs> Syed M. Mirvakili. Yeah. Hini, Hina K. Muta. <laughs> Ayun S. Nam. Allison L. Oliowski. <laughs> Kanan Pak. <laughs> Yulin Pan. <laughs> Federico Pariete. <laughs> Daniel J. Preston.
Yu Sheng Chi. James C. Schulmeister. Jaitunder Swaminathan. Tommaso Tade. Emily W. Tao. Jeffrey T. Sai. Fei Y. Wu. Xiao Yu Wu. Jun Young Yoon. Aaron M. Zakaruski. Ling Ping Zheng. Wen Jun Zhang. Xiao Wei X Chung. Hengbo Zhao. Chen Long Zhao. Yong Ying Ju. Representing the Department of Materials, Science, and Engineering, Professor Christopher A. Shu, Department Head. Doctor of Science, Samuel R. Wagstaff, Doctor of Philosophy, Kathleen C. Alexander, Srinivas Prasad Bengaluru Subramanyam. Eugene N. Cho. Jongwon Choi. Michael G. Christensen. Stephen T. Dasik III. Frank Y. Fan. Sai Gautam Gopalakrishnan. Benjamin J. Grena. Scott C. Grindy. Zhao Hong Han. Samir Jaglakar. Brent D. Keller. Byung Jin Koo. Shi Lu. Jared D. Milstein. <laughs> Chuan Hui Lionel Mo. <laughs> Ko 
Corentin B. Montmeran. Mine Ok. Paul H. Reckemeyer. William D. Richards. Charles C. Rinsler. Alina Y. Ray. Kayahan Saritas. Michelle K. Singh. Joshua P. Steimel. Alexandra J. Tumar. Dina V. Yuryev. Jin Shuo Zhang. Xin Zhao. Representing the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Representing the Department of Electrical In Engineering and Computer Science, Professor Anantha P. Chandrakasan, Department Head. Doctor of Science, David M. Rosen. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy, Ellie M. Adam. <laughs> Fadil Adib. Grant S. Anderson. Eirik Bakir. Leilani Battelle. Francesco Bellei. Carrie J. Kai. Navitida Chandra Kesari. Annie I. Chern. Jasin Chen. Edward H. Chen. Haogong Chen. Yuhan T. Chen. Winston Chern. Gregory A. Ciccarelli. Hannah A. Clevenson. Matthew R. Coudron. Hong Kai Day. Adrian V. Dalka.
Matthew E. DeSaro. Myers A. Davis. Nachiquate V. Desai. Sumit Dutta. Jason H. Gao. Rati Gelashvili. Marzia Gassimi. <laughs> Elena L. Glassman. <laughs> Samantha J. Gunter. <laughs> Alex Guo. Anna P. Huang. <laughs> Shen Shi Huang. Joel Jean. Harshad Kasture. Georgia Evangelina Katsargiri. Aditya Kosla. Youngwook B. Kim. Bonnie K. Lam. Ann Lee. Tao Lei. Rebecca J. Miloshek. Philip M. Nadeau. John K. Novichin. Andrew H. Owens. Ekanathan Palamade Natarajan. Jonathan Perry. Evelina A. Polizoeva. Michael A. Posa. Pernavirman David got it. Satomira T. Radeva. David N. Reshef. Abhishek Kai Sakar. Tao B. Shardle. Yi Song. Veronica Stelmach. Julian Strobe. Wo Long Su John Su Min Sun 
Cynthia R. Sung. Erman T. Murdugan. Christos Zamos. Sarvesh Warma. Carl M. Vondrick. Tong Wong. Shireen M. Warnock. Yufei Wu. Jile Su Shu. Shin Rong Yang. Frank M. Yall. Denise Yurukolu. Lily Yu. Henry Yin. Richard Y. Jong. Xu Jong. Yuan Jong. Yu Hao Jong. Bernhard B. Zimmerman. Representing the Department of Chemical Engineering, Professor Paula Hammond, Department Head. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy, Chibueze V. Amanchuku. <laughs> Alexander J. Bork. Siwan Choi. Samantha C. Collins. <laughs> Ali Eldin O. El Tayeb. <laughs> Wan Jun Jo. <laughs> Bomi Lee Chung. Jennifer D. Lewis. <laughs> Anashuya Mundal. <laughs> Karthik Murgapan. <laughs> Karthik Narsimhan. Joel A. Paulson. Mitkil A. Runka. Michael Keith S. Santos. Vishnu Shrest. Xiao Su. <laughs> Xia Hong Tan.
Suzanne Tan. Sheng Chang Tang. Mark C. Wademan. Lisi Xie. Lu Young. Representing the Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics, Professor Jaime Pereira, Doctor of Science. David C. Sternberg. Doctor of Philosophy, Trevor D. Campbell. Michael D. Curry. Pedro H. de Rodriguez Camelia C. Santana. Christopher K. Gilmore. Matthew C. Gombele. Alex A. Gorodetsky. <laughs> Sherry A. Hall. Christopher M. Jewison. Tomas Kolosh Lakatosh. Forrest E. Mayan. <laughs> Bei Peng Mu. Charles A. Richter. <laughs> Timothy B. Setterfield. <laughs> Narek Shugaran. Amith Somanath. Ferran Vidal Colina. Hyo Sung Yoon. Peng Yu. Presenting the Department of Biological Engineering, Associate Professor Mark Bate. <laughs> Doctor of Science, Eric J. Ma. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy, Vibhuti Argawal. Cho Ji Jong. <laughs> Fei Chen. <laughs> Wesley G. Chen. <laughs> Shi J. Nigel Jo. Allison M. Kloss. Amar Godasara. J. 
Chen Gu. Apoorva Gupta. Ryan L. Kelly. Kevin S. Kung. Alec A. Nielsen. Scott W. Olson. Marcus C. Parrish. Gabriella Pregernick. Raven J. Reddy. Raja R. Srinivas. Brittany A. Thomas. Suhani D. Vora. Young Wong. Representing the Department of Nuclear Science and Engineering, Professor Dennis G. White, Doctor of Science, Kevin B. Waller, Doctor of Philosophy, William R. Boyd III, Mark A. Chilinski. Ian C. Faust. Andre N. Guillon. Pei C. Lee. Ogan Bayar Atkan Batar. Rebecca Romatowski. <laughs> Representing the Engineering Systems Division, Professor Munzer A. Delay, Director. Doctor of Philosophy, Christopher W. Barati. <laughs> Timothy W. Breitbach. <laughs> Catherine L. Dykes. <laughs> Morgan R. Edwards. Ali Farahanji. Amanda Jiang. Amy M. Rose. Mark D. Staples. Representing the Program in Health Sciences and Technology, Professor Colin Stoltz. <laughs> Dr.
Doctor of Philosophy, Kevin T. Chen. Mark K. Clement. Cheryl H. Sui. Emily R. Lindemer. Adam Pan. Vios V. Ramanan. Jonathan B. Salan. Ling Xu. Nathaniel J. Zook. In the School of Humanities, Arts, and Social Sciences, representing the Department of Economics, Professor Glenn Ellison, Department Head. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy, Alexander W. Bartek. <laughs> Vivek Bhattacharya. Enrico Cantoni. Bravo. Nicholas E. Caramp. <laughs> David Colino Lamas. G. M. Ho. Peter D. Hull. Angela E. Kilby. Rachel Meager. Stephen Murphy. Monisha Potty. Brian J. Perry. Brendan M. Price. Lauren C. Russell. Elizabeth M. Cetron. <laughs> Yu Xu. Nils C. Wernerfeld. <laughs> Mongxi Wu. W. Teet Yokasi. <laughs> Hong Kai Jong. <laughs> Representing the Department of Political Science, Professor Andrea L. Campbell, Department Head. Doctor of Philosophy, Justin De Benedictus Kessner, Daniel N. DeCant, Renato L. De Oliveira, Krista M. Luce. Amanda J. Rothschild. 
Alec N. Worsnop. Representing the Department of Linguistics and Philosophy, Professors Danka Steriata and Alex Byrne. Doctor of Philosophy, Nilanjan Das. Matthew A. Mendelkorn. Rebecca V. Millsop. Sophia A. Ortiz Hinojosa. Juliet Stanton. Ayaka Sugawara. Representing the program in science, technology, and society, Professor Jennifer S. Light, <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy, Melissa A. Ito, <laughs> Amanda Johnson. Sriharsh Kalkar, Emily X. Lynn, Matali N. Takor, Michaela J. Thompson. Anna M. Wexler. In the Sloan School of Management, representing the Sloan School of Management, Professor Ezra Zuckerman Sivan, Deputy Dean. Doctor of Philosophy, Gog Chabashbu. <laughs> Tristan L. Botello. Rebecca L. Grunberg. Jorge Guzman. Asji Karenfell. Joshua L. Krieger. Benjamin P. Hjost. Representing the Program in Operations Research, Professor Dimitris J. Bertsimus. Doctor of Philosophy, Juan G. Chung. Patrick C. Eschenfeld. Arthur Flagellet. Paul E. Grigas. Swati Gupta. Nikita Grolko. Jerry L. Kong.
Christopher E. Marks. Travis, I'm sorry, Charles M. Travis Cortez Monroy. Alexander M. Weinstein. Rong Yuan. In the School of Science, representing the Department of Chemistry, Professor Timothy Jameson, Department Head. Doctor of Philosophy, Tak V. Ken. Igor Korapjanu. Kurt J. Cox. John F. Fennell, Jr. David D. Grimes. Whitney R. Hess. Ken Kawamoto. Eric G. Keeler. <coughs> Elizabeth H. Kelly. <laughs> Iwana Knopf. <laughs> Marcrete Krikorian. <laughs> Juan Lu. Sarah P. Lupino. Thomas A. McTeague. Surin K. Mong. Toshiki G. Nakashige. Matthew J. Nava. Charles E. Ocampo. Prashant Sivaraja. Lei Swin. Yongbao Swin. Kobe L. White. Elizabeth C. Wittenborn. Chea Jong. Representing the Department of Biology, Professor Amy Keating. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy, Jonathan S. Korovas. Victor E. Cruz. Sean. M. Davidson, Matthew M. Dobbin, Stephen W. Eichhorn, Robert M. Erdman, Diane L. Hakeson. Aaron M. Josios.
Gregory A. Newby. Isaac M. Oderberg. Nina K. Pizoka. Jessica Reddy. Ramon Y. Rios Morales. Ethan S. Sokol. Monica Stanchu. Xin Chen Wang. Megan D. Warner. <laughs> Representing the Department of Physics, Professor Jacqueline Hewitt. Doctor of Philosophy, Aram Apian. John P. Barrett. Lawrence W. Joke. Gregory A. Dooley. Aaron M. Yule Weiss. Brian S. Henderson. Michael A. Henninger. Jia Chong Hu. Colin J. Kennedy. Matthew S. Krafchek. Lena Naseeb. Colton D. O'Connor. Michael J. Pretko. Joaquin F. Rodriguez Nieva. Andrei Sarafiev. Edward J. C. Scott A. Skurlow. Representing the Department of Brain and Cognitive Sciences, Professor Edward Gibson. Doctor of Philosophy, Eden Blanc. Rebecca G. Cantor. Matthew M. Dobbin. Omer Durak. Richard L. Futrell. Leah J. Hatchigan.
Kian Jamie Bustamante. Cheyenne O. Keshvari. Gerald N. Foe. Rajiv V. Ricky. Diraj Roy. David A. Scott. Laura J. Stoppel. Representing the Department of Earth, Atmospheric, and Planetary Sciences, Professor Timothy Grove. Doctor of Philosophy, Servesh Garamella, Chen Gu, Jareth I. Holt, Kimberly L. Huppert, Kaisuke Inomura. Daniel A. Rothenberg. Jen Leong Tian. Lucas A. Willemson. Ross H. Williams. Emily J. Zakem. Representing the Department of Mathematics, Professor Devesh Malik. Doctor of Philosophy, Zachary R. Abel. <laughs> Netanel S. Blyer. Chenjia Fan. Miriam Farber. Nathan Harmon. Alyssa Kanizel. Shue Liu. Asad Ladia. Laszlo M. Lovas. J. H. Shaw. Sheen Swin. Daniel C. Thompson. Monglu Wong. Ben Yang. Yoon W. Yu. Representing the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, James A. Yoder, Vice President for Academic Programs, and Dean, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy, 
Alice E. Alpert. Alexander J. Bergen. Eleanor K. Borse. <laughs> Deepak A. Cherian. Sophie N. Chu. James R. Collins. Guy N. Evans. Alexis D. Fisher. Maha N. Haji. Gregory W. Horning. Winifred M. Johnson. Maxwell B. Kaplan. Emily A. Moberg. <laughs> Kathleen J. Pitts. Sarah Z. Rosengard. Julie M. Vanderhope. Anna Wargula. And Ning Chow. That's it. As we conclude the investiture of doctoral hoods, I now invite the faculty to join me in a salute to welcome this year's doctoral candidates to the Academy. Congratulations. <laughs>